hi welcome back to yes to them is here welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are just tuning in make sure you hit on the subscribe button right now because you just tune in to the right channel i know by the end of this video you will gain a lot and you are free to go around check my page i have series of videos that are very very useful for you please appreciate by you know clicking on that red button which is the subscription button because i beg you it's so free it's free and the advantage that comes with it is that you keep getting notified each time i post anything new here please subscribe we are at 300 uh, plus subscriber i want to hit 400 before the end of may because you can make this possible thank you so so much so today i noticed most of skincare you know formulators most of skincare brands always buy industrial products to use in the market before they can actually do their permits do you know that you can actually do your own base cream yourself so today i'll be showing you base cream that you can actually do if you are caramel skin see if you want to sell products to your caramel skin client or you want to use it for yourself just watch this video to the end this will save you money it's not costly and as well very very effective and it has no side effect most times people do from mixing wrong beef. you mix different friend products that you don't even know what the manufacturer mixed into it before you proceed into doing your own mixing and this can cause stretch mark green veins you know and so so on white patches reactions and so on on your client's skin and they won't come back but today i will show you how to make your own base cream if you are caramel skin or you want to do for your caramel skin client so what are the things that you've been needing please i need you to jot down honestly i've been very very indisposed but the love of my cause for my you know subscribers here i just have to do this because i've seen many people you know doing this and they are wasting money it's costly to actually promise it's very very costly because you buy different different brands from mix them together but your base cream you can actually produce at large and you know what you are adding into your own production your mind will be at rest even when your customer come and say so so you know what to use in formulating that so you keep to it but you keep on promoting and promoting ah it's costly my dear so i'm quite indisposed but i must do this video so and i wish i could actually do a practical showing you production video but where i am presently guys there is no space there is no space move it to a special space soon so just manage and listen attentively now let's manage soon before we get you know the space we are going into so we shouldn't let that stop us from achieving what we want to achieve so how do you make your caramel base cream number one you need your emulsifying wax you need your cetyl alcohol and you need your steric acid i have example here most times when I want to do my production, I always put them together because so you know when you want to do your production, you don't have to be running around. Just put everything you need together. So I have the powder here. This steric acid. This is e wax, like big petals form, and this circular color. So you need these three. You need. Uh, essential oil or carrier oil you can use the sunflower oil most times I love to use sunflower you can use sunflower oil or ovoba oil so you'll be needing these three then you you know put it on hot press you dissolve it boil your hot water make sure your water is still boiled after mixing I know you know you all know how to, I'm talking to people who know how to do base cream already so after you get done with that before your base cream solidifies, you add your lactic acid, your lactic acid, you add your vegetable glycerin, you add your whitening glycerin as well. You add kojic acid. That's why I'm telling you that you need to know what you're adding into your base cream. You add kojic acid. You can actually dissolve your kojic acid with propelling glycol or your rose water. So you dissolve or distilled water rather. So you dissolve your uh, kojic acid with any of this, you know, liquids, you pour into your base cream, you mix. Then let's get to the main cocoa of the day. 
so so as to really really activate this base cream you have added this you know three main activities in the beginning which is the lactic acid the kojic acid and the uh, whitening glycerin whitening glycerin is active lactic acid is active and as well kojic acid is active that is you add it in the process before it gets solidified then after your base cream gets solidified what are these things that you had again to make it very very active and as well as preventive measure what you'll be adding is bronze stone bronze stone oil the bronze stone oil is very 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 cool if you want to make your caramel base cream just add the bronze stone oil add the bronze stone oil depending on how many grams you want to make for like 500 grams of base cream i'll add two bronze stone yeah because the base cream is very very thick so you add this bronze stone into it then you add kenako oil kenako oil you add your belle class kenako oil this is a preventive you know measure for your patches and so so on so that as you are using your base cream there won't be any reaction on your clients or on your own skin then we proceed to ooba oil as i mentioned earlier ooba oil is very very good you can use because it's, it has the same you know ph with our skin so it's very safe for all skin types so you'll be adding the ooba oil as well so funny enough you can actually add the nature secret oil too you can add the nature secret argan oil it's very very mild nature secret argan oil can be added in your base cream even after adding the bronze stone oil so you can add the nature secret oil into your base cream sweet pattern this base cream can be your face cream base cream as well it can be your face cream base cream then you can now when you're done when your you know base cream is ready you can now proceed to whatever it is you want to use to produce maybe you want to use it to a shade more and so on then you can start with you adding your wrapping maybe your lightning oils your you know maybe any other thing you want to mix with it just to make your base cream more more active but on its own you have actually activated this base cream on its own if you're a kind of person that you don't care then you have uh, sorry then you add your preservative please make sure you have your preservative after adding all of this thing add your preservative at 0.5 to 1 percent in your base room so if you're the type that don't care you know you don't care about getting two shade or so on you can start using this um, base cream on your skin if you do not care about then it's a best thing for you to actually start adding all of your essential oils whitening oil and so on so as to make your customer skin like you know skin like me tight. so that's what i came here to show you guys today please and please subscribe to my youtube channel if this video has been helpful go around you know explore my videos yeah so you meet a lot of wonderful wonderful videos a lot of wonderful wonderful recipes that i've listed for you guys so please turn on the notification bell click on the subscription button and stay tuned make sure you watch my next video i love you bye